Welcome to the third European Tour Stop in Stockholm, Sweden. We have a full recap coming up of the women's advanced category and we start right now. The European Tour Series is in full swing and this weekend we are in Scandinavia, in Stockholm, Sweden to be more precise. Once again the best women from all over Europe have traveled here to compete for yet another title in the European Tour Series 2023. This time without Laura Kunstmann, who was not beaten this season, some teams might want to go for the Swedish crown. So let's soak in the vibes and watch highlights from pool play and learn a bit more about some of the teams. We are Dani and Megan from Tirolim yes, Zoo. We are from Vienna, Austria. Uh, so we are Prison Dives from France. And uh, she's Natasha and I'm Ines. We are uh, Die Raketen. Yes. I'm Alexa. I'm Paula. And uh, we played our first tournament together in 2019. So that was four years ago now. <laughs> We're an OG team. Yes. yes, I injured my knee, I think. ACL. Yeah. ACL in March last year. And yes, I'm more than happy now to play together with Alexa. Yeah. It's my first international tournament today. I played two German juniors. Tournament. Tournament. Story. <laughs> Tournament. <laughs> but I'm happy to be back. Full play was really good until now. Um, we won everything and yeah, yeah, and collected some confidence for brackets. It was cool, like a uh, cool morning and like the sun, like the weather is perfect and we feel it's good. We also have fun. So in the ETS, we didn't play a final, so it's a bit frustrated, but I think this tournament is ours. Yeah. Um, we're first seed, I think. Yes. Um, we didn't check who we're playing next because we actually just want to go in the, into the games randomly and just do our best every game. Now we just want to like we play. We want to play our best, and then we have the most fun. Unfortunately for them, in their comeback tournament, the Raketen face MRC Stadlers, another strong German team in the round of 16, and are not able to beat their strong defense, losing in two. The Stadler sisters now face Pys and Dives, who, as we have heard, would like to play their first final of the season. After losing the first set 21-19, they managed to make a comeback and win the second set 21-18 forcing the decider. Here both teams give it their all with the set once again ending 21-19 but with a clutch break at the end it is Puss and Dives who make it to the semi-finals. In the second quarterfinal, Flink, another German team consisting of Teresa Knauf and Christina Detman, win in two sets close over Pinky Promise, yet another German team. While playing incredible defense, Teresa also seems to be on top of her serving today. Definitely worth keeping an eye on as we move further into the knockout stage. In what seems to be a tournament of the comebacks, Melted on Toast play their first tour stop of the season after having switched partners for a while. Unfortunately for them, they lose in two against Ricky Witt and Lou Washburn. In the last quarterfinal, Tiramisu, who secured the first seed after pool play, win comfortably against Amelie Jolie and Clara Bauer. The later being the winner of the 2023 Paris Tour Stop together with Laura Kunzelmann. With the quarterfinal finished, let's have a quick look at the bracket before moving to the semifinals.
Heading into the first semi-final, Tiramisu now face Ridiculous, a mashup team consisting of Lou Washburn and Ricky Witt from Germany. As we have seen in previous EKS tournaments, once Megan and Dani are in the flow, they are very hard to stop. And right from the beginning both teams are at maximum intensity, as we see the first point of the match and the first break for Tiramisu. Now again Megan on the serve. They get a touch, but Ricky and Lou are there to get the hold and in turn now they have the opportunity to break for themselves. And that's what they do. Three rallies in three points, that's what we like to see. But with incredible serves like Dani has, the rally ball won't last forever as she hits some great serves. But while Ricky is struggling to handle the serving pressure, Lou adapts quickly and starts to play clean side out. We are now at 9-10 as the momentum starts to shift once again and with a few aces of their own, Ridiculous are back on top of the game. And at 15-14 they now have the chance to get the crucial 2 point lead. But they cannot make it happen and instead we are now at 16 all and again Dani puts on a show from the serving line earning Tiramisu 2 game points at 2018. Megan's hit got run down by Lou, but she cannot bring it back to the net, making it 1-0 for Tiramisu. Handling Dani's serves will definitely be key for Lou and Ricky in order to make a comeback in this series, as well as putting on more surf pressure themselves. And that is what they do with back-to-back -back breaks in the beginning of the second set. And they continue to hustle in defense, eventually giving them the 10-8 lead. Great set by Ricky and the touch from Dani, not quite good enough. We are now at 10-11 and we see now that danger is around the corner when Dani is serving as she hits four aces in a row making it 14-11 and forcing a timeout. With new hope they now want to make a comeback but again Dani has a touch on the hit and gets the next break. Definitely not what Lou and Ricky wanted as they seem to lose hope and concede even more breaks making it 20-12. Megan with the surf and she gets the touch again but Lou and Ricky keep fighting hoping for a miracle. 13-20 now and Hiramisu score the side out securing their spot in the final. In the first semi-final we see Piss and Dives who just won their intense free set match playing against Flink. Definitely an exciting matchup of two incredibly athletic defense teams. And right from the beginning Ines and Natasha display their defensive abilities with a break at 1-1 and more touches which they however cannot convert yet. At 5-5 we start to see some of the serving pressure from Teresa. We have talked about it earlier, but Puss and Dives with a good hustle to get the hold. We are at 6-6 now, the body up by Teresa and the first break for Flink, who now really arrive in the match. Good touch by Ines, but Teresa covers short and booms it over. 
In the following, we see Puss and Dives take back the control over the game with some defensive conversions and very clean side out. We are at 12.13 now and finally Therese is able to find her serve scoring three breaks. So at 19.17 Puss and Dives now desperately need another break to stay in the competition. Theresa hit falls short but Christina is there on defense making it 20.17 and at 20.18 giving them two chances to play side out for the set. Ines on the serve. Christina with the backhand but ran down by Ines. Gets back in time but hits the rim. So it's 1-0 for Flink. Heading into the second set, Teresa keeps hitting her serves but Piss and Dice also keep playing defense and find into the game well. We are now at 4 all and Teresa is on the surf again. And with the ace, the momentum shifts back towards Flink. 5 4 now, Natasha tries to boom the ball away, but Chrissy runs it down. Great set from Teresa, but Ines is there for the drop. But not a good hit, and Flink and the rally with a big boom. Houston dives are now getting increasingly frustrated leading to more arrows and a decent lead for Flink. 14-11 now. Can Puss and Dive find back into the match? Good body up by Natasha. Goes for the soft touch and a big run down by Chrissy. But she can't bring the ball back onto the net. So Flink decide to take a timeout as they feel something coming. 14-12 now and Natasha is on the serve. Ines with the soft touch, but Teresa is there and they win what might be the most important point for the series, as in the following Ines has another bad receive. Now they are 4 points down at 18-14. It is again Chrissy on the serve. And with the defense touch, but Puss and Dives are not ready to give up yet. Another touch, but this time not a good set from Teresa. But still Ines and Natasha can't close the gap and now need three breaks at 2017. But Teresa is not having it and Flink win the second set, make it to the finals. Let's hear their take on the game. We had a lot of fun, so it worked out pretty well, I guess. And it was like a good puzzle with Rezi's surf treasure and my defense touches. I think it was a good combination. Yeah and now we are happy to play final. It's almost the same plan. We want to give everything, fight for every point, uh, try to get good defense touches, and uh, then we will see. <laughs> and with a large crowd forming, we head into the final in which Tiramisu get the better start with two defensive conversions in a row for an early 4-1 lead. It is 5-2 now and Megan with an ace, so Flink has to ramp up the surf pressure to stay in the game. Teresa will try to make something happen, but Tiramisu handle their serves well until now. At 9-6 we see the first break for Flink after a good touch by Chrissy, but the observer steps up to call a no-hit zone infraction. But they keep fighting and get another chance for a break at 10-7. And this time they get it. Somewhat closing the gap, so now it's 11-9. Good touch by Teresa again, but rims the hit.
and on the next play Tiramisu score a break themselves to get back the 4 point lead at 14-10. Dani with another touch but luckily for Flink Tiramisu struggle with their conversion rate too and after a quick break for Flink they have yet another chance to make a comeback. Great up by Teresa, but they just can't convert their touches and in turn get break by Tiramisu, which puts them in a really tough spot. It is 17-13, Dani with a good block and puts the ball away. Although Teresa gets another ace, Tiramisu keep handling herself well and get a chance for side out at 20-17. But Teresa gets a touch, but can't pull it past Megan and she flicks it away to win the first set. Diving into the second set, we are at 0-0. Zero, zero. And another touch by Dani. Chris is there, goes for the soft touch, but Teresa can't put it on the net. Flink, however, have improved their serving and get their first lead of the series and even have the chance to increase at 4-5. But Dani is ready and puts it away with the diving pull. But instead of the two-point lead, the momentum shifts once again as Tiramisu score a break themselves. However, while Tiramisu seem to play clean side out, two no-hit zone infraction get called on Megan, leaving her frustrated and giving the lead back to Flink in a game that now goes back and forth with breaks on both sides. The match is now tied up at 14 all and Flink with two unfortunate errors in a row forcing them to take a timeout at 14-16 to recollect themselves as they now need to get a break as fast as possible. We are at 17-18 and Chrissy once again with the rundown but the set is not optimal so only two chances left for Flink and after double throw from Teresa, 18-19 it is match point. Megan on the serve, Chrissy set falls short and that is it. Tiramisu managed to win the first STS event of the season after flawless performance today. On the third place we have Puss and Dives who won in three sets over Ridiculous to complete the podium. Congratulations to all winners and thanks to Stockholm Spike for organizing this awesome event. Thank you so much Brooklyn for sponsoring this video, they make this possible, the link is in the description down below. And if you want to see more of the recaps you can go here. Or you want to see all of the videos all the time, get notification and whatsoever, you're gonna subscribe to Tops Roundnet.